And now a second plate appearance for De La Cruz. He worked a full count walk his first time. Smash to right center. First big league hit. And here he goes. Lightning speed. Ellie De La Cruz lit up the big leagues last season like the fireworks light up the sky on the 4th of July. In fact, you could say he's one of the most impressive rookies the baseball world has seen in a long while. During the 2023 season, Cruz pulled off something straight out of a baseball fairy tale. He swiped second, third, and home base all in a single inning, a feat no Reds player had accomplished in over 100 long years. And just when you thought the excitement couldn't get any better, Ellie followed up that by smashing another record for fastest infield assist that clocked in at a blazing 97.9 miles per hour less than a week later. And that's just barely scratching the surface of the things he's achieved because that same season, he became the first player since the early 1900s to rack up 40 hits and 15 stolen bases in his first 30 career games. And if that wasn't enough, he became the first player in over a century to knock in at least 55 runs in his first 50 games. So yeah, Ellie De La Cruz might just be one of the best things that has happened to baseball in a long, long time. But hold on to your hats, because this season, Ellie's not slowing down one bit. He's out there staking his claim as the strongest force on the field. So buckle up, folks, because we're about to dive deep into every nook and cranny of Ellie's game to see why he might just be every pitcher's worst nightmare this season. It's no news that Ellie De La Cruz spent a good chunk of his rookie season breaking and setting records like his life depended on it. But what's even more impressive is how these records not only highlighted his incredible talent as a player, but it also contributed to the Reds clinching a winning record for the third time in four seasons. But let's not sugarcoat it. The 2023 season wasn't all smooth sailing for Cruz. You see, towards the end of the season, he hit a rough patch that sent his performance plummeting down the mountain of expectations heaped upon him. The downturn was so severe that he even found himself benched for a game against the Twins because his hitting average had dipped to a level that wouldn't make the cut in most major league lineups. By the end of the season, Ellie knew that he had to go back to his drawing board and put in the work if he wanted to shake off the one-hit wonder label, and the only time he had to do that was during the offseason. In a chat with MLB.com, Cruz spilled the beans on his offseason game plan. First off, he knew he needed to tweak his approach to the game and was totally down to work with his team to get his groove back. You know, anything to amp up his performance. He also pointed out the key role of holding his ground in the batter's box and honing in on choosing the right pitches, because staying planted in the batter's box is crucial for his performance. By keeping his weight back on his rear foot, he's better able to read the pitch, its type, where it's headed, and how fast it's coming at him. This split-second edge helps him connect solidly, pack a punch, and cover more ground in the strike zone. He also had to develop better pitch recognition to be more consistent in the cat and mouse game with the pitcher and to improve his plan at the plate. Another part of his game he needed to work on was resisting the temptation to swing at every pitch the pitcher threw his way. Instead, he aimed to focus on his own pitch preferences and fine tune that aspect of his game. In his words, it's really just not swinging at the pitches the pitchers want to throw and worrying about my pitches. That's the one thing I want to get better at. So as soon as the 2023 season wrapped up, he hit the ground running. Throughout the offseason, Cruz put in some serious work to step up his hitting game. He teamed up with hitting coach Joel McKeithen to tweak his mechanics, gear up for a full 162 game season, and even log some quality time with Juan Soto. Now, the Yankee superstar outfielder and De La Cruz go way back. Cruz and Soto practically grew up together in the Dominican Republic and trained at the Nietzsche Baseball Academy as teams. So during the offseason, they decided to link up and do some hitting together. When he was asked about it in an interview, Cruz simply said they were working on just hitting off the tee and hitting to the opposite way. Not only would Ellie's improvement be a game changer for him, but it would also be a massive win for the Reds in the long run. That's why the team's management went all in during the offseason, treating De La Cruz like he was pure gold and investing heavily in his development. Reds manager, Bell, for example, kept tabs on De La Cruz all through the offseason, and the coach, Benavidez, made sure to touch base with him regularly. Right from the get-go, Benavidez emphasized the importance of De La Cruz being ready for day one of spring training. But beyond hitting the gym hard, the Reds left no stone unturned in giving Ellie an edge in his game. 
including handpicking his diet. Yeah, you heard that right. Now, some folks might think diet is irrelevant, but they don't say you are what you eat for nothing, you know. Cruz's management knows how crucial diet is for an athlete's performance. So De La Cruz and the Reds revamped his diet to include foods that not only kept him at the top of his game, but also specifically enhanced his performance. They also designed a tailored strength training program specifically for Cruz to follow during the offseason. With pointers from Soto and the Reds coaching crew, Ellie De La Cruz focused on fine-tuning his hitting technique while also keeping a healthy work-life balance in check for the upcoming season. Over the winter, it was crystal clear that Cruz had been experimenting with a swing. He posted a ton of videos on his Instagram account showcasing adjustment to his lower body mechanics, and just like he had planned, one of the most noticeable changes was the fact that he had ditched his high leg kick. This adjustment resulted in a slower, more controlled swing that's a tad more open. Now, De La Cruz's spring training routine is a whole new ball game, all thanks to his hustle in the offseason. The Reds are so stoked about his progress that Bell straight up named him the team's starting shortstop on day one of spring training. And Benavidez, he couldn't stop raving about Ellie in the interview saying, Ellie's got it. I'm watching his routine now, and he's being a pro. He's doing everything he can to get himself ready. It's all the little things you've got to do to be a major league player for a lot of years. Even Reds director of strength and conditioning, Rob Fumagalli, wasn't capping when he said that Ellie is going full blast. It's pretty cool that he was promoted to man the team's starting shortstop, but that also means that he's got more responsibilities on his shoulders. And you know what? He's totally rising to the challenge, especially during spring training. Before the team even hit the field for their first morning workout, De La Cruz was already putting in the work. He was in the weight room, doing a set of drills solo. Ellie has also gotten creative with his training while in his batting stance. He shot put at a 20 pound medicine ball from his right hip to his left hip, mimicking a swing. But here's the kicker. Since he's a switch hitter, He's flipping around and doing the same from left to right to beef up his strength in both directions. Now that's what I call dedication. And for all we know, he's been turning up the heat in spring training. I mean, during a live batting practice session with former number two draft pick Hunter Green on the mound, De La Cruz absolutely crushed a foul ball. It was so powerful that it flew out of the stadium and landed all the way in the parking lot where the players parked their cars. And unfortunately for Green, his car just happened to be in the way of Ellie's foul ball, and the rest, they say, is history. But apart from just putting in the physical grind, De La Cruz has been honing his mental game with laser focus. Instead of getting caught up in past slumps or stressing about the upcoming season, he's focusing on the things that really matter. That means beefing up his balance, consistency, and overall plate discipline. Plus, his work ethic lately has been cranked up to 11 and you can see it in how he's taking on extra practice hours like it's a walk in the park. So there you have it, folks. If we're being down to earth, Ellie seems like he's pretty dialed in and ready to make opposing pitchers break out in a cold sweat. Or at least, that's what we think. What do you think? We'll love to hear it in the comments. And hey, while you're at it, don't forget to hit that like button, share with your friends, and subscribe to stay updated on all your favorite players and everything baseball.